What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you something rather useful, a little bit niche, but something that you should know of. So as you probably know by now, you can join a Discord call and watch someone's live stream. So over here, I'll click on this live stream, watch stream, and you can see exactly what they're doing. But of course, while you're watching one player, you can't actually go and watch someone else's stream. If you go ahead and click across to them, watch stream, it changes it to their stream and you lose your ability to watch that first stream at the same time. So of course, how exactly do you watch more than one stream at a time, split screen or switch between them more easily? Well, there's actually a super simple way. Number one, start watching a live stream and click the show members icon on the far right or click the grid at the very top and you'll see this icon over here watch stream as well as the little eye next to it. Upon clicking this little eye, it says start watching multiple streams. Simply click on it and you can see that we're watching this live stream down here and this live stream up here in the center. If I were to click on one, it'll zoom into full screen. If I click out of it, just by clicking anywhere in the video, I'll see both of them. I can click into the second one, etc, etc, swap between them. And of course, if you have one full screen, you can expand the show members on the side to have a look at other people in the call. As you can see, the live stream is over here and I can switch to it by simply left clicking. While this isn't the best way to have more than one stream going at once, this is definitely a way to see multiple ones. So as you can see, if I click show members and I'll hover over one of the live streams over here, I can click the three dots next to it and you can see show non-video participants. I'll simply uncheck this and all of a sudden, everyone who's not live streaming disappears from the channel, including me and the two voice pictures for these two accounts that are currently streaming. If I head back to grid view, you can see both of the videos over here. I can make Discord full screen like this, or I can click the actual full screen icon. And as you can see, I have this split screen. I have one game on the right, one game on the left. And of course, if there are more Discord live streams, I could see one in the bottom left and one in the bottom right over here as well. And you're probably wondering what exactly happens if someone turns on a webcam. Well, the same exact thing happens. If I turn on a webcam over here, you can see it simply applies the same way that it normally does. And of course, you can click between them, have it on the side, etc, etc. Though, of course, having more than one camera by default is usually something that just works. Though, to watch multiple live streams, you have to do it the special way by heading across to grid view and clicking the eye next to someone's stream to start watching it simultaneously. But of course, this won't lower the CPU GPU usage on your PC. And of course, it won't lower the quality of the actual stream that you're watching. It just doubles the need for internet. So of course, if one stream is using quite a bit of internet and you're already having ping issues, watching a second stream at the same time is just going to cause more issues as it has to use more bandwidth. If your PC struggles to watch or play one live stream, it'll struggle to play more than one at the same time as the quality is still the same. You can click to go in and out of full screen at any point. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!